Hi friends, now here in this video we are going to see the terms which are used in case of chain drives and when we say it is a chain that chain would be having a number of hinge centers and that hinge centers are going to be mounted on a sprocket sprocket is a wheel which is having number of teeth and over that teeth the chain is wrapped or wound and the terms which are used I'll write it down here the terms the terms used in chain drives are first is called as the pitch of the chain and the second one is called as pitch circle diameter of chain now when I say that it is a pitch of a chain it means that it will be the distance measured between the two hinge centers for example on a chain we have number of hinge centers so when we measure the distance between the adjacent hinge centers that would be called as the pitch of the chain denoted by P and this pitch will remain constant throughout the length of the chain and in short I can just say that or I can write it down that pitch is then the second definition is it is called as a pitch circle diameter of the chain now the chain would be wrapped around the sprocket and when it passes over the sprocket there are number of hinge centers like for example as shown in the figure here we have A, B, C, D, E and F these are the hinge centers over which the chain is mounted that is these are the points on the sprocket over which the chain is mounted and the circle which is generated through all these hinge centers is called as the pitch circle so I'll write it down that it is so it is the circle which passes through all the hinge centers of a chain and pitch circle diameter is denoted by D next as we can see in this diagram when the chain is mounted onto the sprocket A indicates one hinge center B is the other hinge center and both of them are subtending or making an angle theta at the center of the chain so here I would be giving the relation between the pitch circle diameter and the pitch of the chain considering this figure so I would be drawing this triangle which is triangle AOB separately in order to explain the relation between the pitch of a chain and the pitch circle diameter and that relation would be helpful to us while solving the derivation or the problems in the further part of this chapter so let us get started so the next heading is relation between pitch and pitch circle diameter of a chain AOB is the triangle which I have taken from the diagram and here the angle AOB is theta A and B are the hinge centers O is the center of the sprocket now I am drawing a perpendicular through point O on line AB this AB indicates the pitch of the chain denoted as P next from the diagram it is clear that O to A is nothing but the radius of the pitch circle diameter as the pitch circle diameter is D so O to A distance would be the radius which is D by 2 so I'll mark AO as D by 2 next when I have drawn this perpendicular O I'll say this is perpendicular O to M O M perpendicular to AB now in order to find the pitch I'll divide this triangle into two parts like I'll say here I'm taking this triangle A M O so the angle over here which is A O M will be exactly half this will be theta by 2 and so the remaining angle will also be theta by 2 so taking another triangle separate 
ट्राइंगल ए एम ओ एंगल ए ओ एम इज थीटा बाई टू एंड ए ओ इंडिकेट्स द रेडियस ऑफ द पिथ सर्कल नाउ इफ आई एम एबल टू गेट ए एम देन आई एल सिंपली मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू सो दैट आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए बी एंड ए बी इज नथिंग बट द पिच ऑफ द चेन सो आई एल से दैट इन ट्राइंगल ए एम ओ now i want am this is opposite to the theta so i would be using the formula of sin theta that is sin theta by 2 sin of the angle is opposite side which is am divided by hypotenuse side which is ao so therefore am will be equal to ao साइन टीटा बाय टू देन ए ओ इज डी बाय टू सो इट इज डी बाय टू साइन टीटा बाय टू नेक्स्ट यर दिस एंगल टीटा इट कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय यूजिंग द रिलेशन विथ द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन द स्प्रॉकेट and from that i can say that theta value will be equal to the total angle which is 360 degree divided by t that is the number of teeth on the sprocket where t is equal to number of teeth on sprocket so here i would be putting the value instead of theta i would be writing it as 360 divided by t divided by 2 so here this will become 180 so finally i will be getting the value of am as d by 2 sin this will be, this is 360 divided by t actually here t is not in the numerator but it is in the denominator so it is 360 by t that will give me the value as 180 divided by t after cancellation and this is the value of am next for ab i'll write it down that since ab is twice of am so therefore ab will be equal to twice of d by 2 sin 180 by t 2 and 2 gets cancelled so i get instead of ab i'll write down it as pitch so pitch becomes d sin 180 by t and therefore when i want to write d on one side so this d will be when this sin 180 by t goes on to the other side it is p divided by sin 180 by t and it is 1 upon sin 180 by t so that becomes cosec so it will be p cosec 180 by t i'll say this is equation first and equation 1 gives the relation between pitch and pitch circle diameter of a chain so we can easily say that the pitch circle diameter is p into cosec 180 divided by t where t indicates the number of teeth on the sprocket so that was it from this video in the further videos we are going to see some more relations and some more problems related to chain drives